What's up, everybody? Hopefully you're having a wonderful weekend. I am still sick. I'm still coughing. I'm tired. I'm behind on watching some people's videos, commenting, emailing. So if you're waiting for any of that, please bear with me. I just am really tired to do any of that. So I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible, but, but you can see the numerous tabs on the top of my screen. This is going to be a long video no matter what. There's just so much to talk about on the Japanese Y Shore side. We got releases on English side. We got upcoming set announcements on English side. We got pricing everywhere. So I'll do the best that I can, all right? Um, hopefully I can get back to a normal schedule, but I'm just seriously tired. And again, bear with me as I get back to everybody uh, on everything that's going on. So uh, apologies again, but this is how life goes, right? So first is Japanese side. I wanted to touch on the Japanese side real quick because there's so many things, uh, important uh, product releases, all that good stuff. I mean, Chainsaw Man, that's going to be huge. After watching the first episode of Chainsaw Man, I was like, I could see why everybody's really excited about it. I've never read anything on Chainsaw Man, but when I watched the first episode, I'm like, okay, this is going to be great. Uh, Azure Lane is killing it on the sales. So is Slime Volume 3 from what I see on Ami Ami. Key All-Stars, Sword Art Online. There's so much coming out, and they're pretty much selling all that there is. So they're, Wise Wars is definitely alive and doing well on the buying side anyways buying side if you're looking for reselling maybe not so much but buying side yeah it, it's killing it and i just want to hit key all-stars key is one of my favorite uh productions here so uh this this set really cool because it combines a bunch of the different ips inside of key so this is for the 20th anniversary it's just real quick just want to show this oh look at that i love iu the SECs were revealed. I mean, all these SECs are really nice. Uh, here are PR cards. And you got Heaven's Burn Red. Heaven Burns Red right here. A promo card that they put inside of there. Really cool. Look at IU. And then just scrolling down real quick. I want to show uh, these KSCs. At first, I didn't know what to make of it. I mean, I get it. These are scenes that should mean a lot if you watch this anime. I was just thinking, I'm like, okay, this this reminds me of like Magic the Gathering uh, lands, like special lands they make for Secret Lair. And the more and more I looked at it, I'm like, yeah, I, I like it. I get it that when you look at it, it's kind of plain and it has just foiling on it. Um, but at the same time, if anybody actually watched these shows and know how key is very emotional, uh, looking at these scenes should bring out some certain memories for you, like this one right here. So if you haven't watched Key, if you want an emotional ride, if you want to pretend that you're not crying, then feel free to watch some of these anime. Uh, next, I just want to hit on these because I don't normally do that, is the shop tournaments. I It's not that I don't want to, it's I forget about them because I don't have an LGS. But shop tournament promos, we got Shoko here. Uh, this was for October, and then we also have Megumi uh, for for Saikano, and uh, that would be for November. Here's your title cup. This looks really cool for October. Yeah, title cup will be held October 17th, which is, I'm looking at this. It says October 17th. October 17th is a Monday. So that's not right. But anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, it, it's from Saturday. I guess they're just saying beginning this week, which really would be a different day. Anyways, who cares? Who cares? Anyways, that's the cool part. Uh, we got this Wiener PR. It looks really awesome. I definitely would love to attempt going for that. Obviously, I probably wouldn't win, but this is a pretty cool looking card. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what the title cup for uh, some of these look like. Some of these, let's let's go. Okay, <laughs> Dreaming Girl. This is the, the big one of the week. This thing released on Friday. And of course, um, the SECs and those serial numbers, and those signatures, and those serial numbers, what we have with the regular SPs, serial numbers, and non-serial numbers. You can see that right there. Uh, the first one I saw anyways, was this one on reddit so congratulations to cs maverick 
He pulled this one of Ryo Futaba, who I definitely love. Uh, you can see right there, here is the C. I mean, wow, okay. Uh, I didn't zoom in, but that's... <laughs> I didn't zoom in beforehand, so I didn't think it'd be like that zoomed in, but that, that worked out pretty nicely, right? You can see 5 out of 10 right there. And uh, what do I think? This is this is where I land on these serial numbers after looking at this. Okay, I, Me personally, if I pulled a serial number, of course I would be happy about it. Like, I, I think most people would. But will I pay thousands of dollars or whatever this lands at for this card myself? No, that is not something I would chase. And the reason being is the fact that there is no signature. If this was a signature plus a serial number, okay. But just having that quote and having a serial number on there, I, I don't really care. Honestly, I don't care either way. Like, um, if you wipe that away and I pull that, I would be just... I would be happy. I wouldn't be just as happy. I'd be happier with the serial number. But again, this is not something I would attempt to buy with money, the serial number, whatever price that that lands on. Now, a lot of people are wondering what the pricing of this stuff should actually be. Like uh, when you look at the the SECs, when you look at SPs, I will tell you all, all throughout the day I was watching it and, you know, I didn't say much in my head. I, I was just thinking about it. I'm like, I mean, obviously, the first thought I had in my head is they're way too high. And then when I got to last night, right before bed, uh, my wife was brushing her teeth. And um, I do the thing where I just look at stuff until I am done and then go brush my teeth. But anyways, wife was brushing teeth. I, was, I looked at my phone and I, I actually said lol out loud. I actually said that. <laughs> that's, that's probably one of the only times I've done that. Uh, but I actually did say that and she's like what and I'm like look at these prices This is insane that uh, Realistically people thought they would get uh, Prices for it. and maybe it's because they saw someone price the card really high So let me undercut them a little bit and that's how it's been going hoping that somebody out there is crazy enough to buy it but th this is not going to be one of those ones that these prices are gonna hold Right outside the Koga here, everything else is way overpriced. Like, uh, it, it just is. And one of the things you're going to ask me is, Big B, how do you know that's going to be it? Well, here we go. This is strictly broken. This is one of those uh, places I always said is kind of like your bellwether of how much prices actually are. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, Strictly Broken, congratulations on uh, Store US, all that good stuff. Uh, if you want to see what I'm talking about, just real quick, since I'm already out here. Strictly Broken had a move. They made website changes, pricing changes on play sets and all that good stuff. So um, you can just check that all out right here. Uh, there are no more discount codes, by the way. There were discount codes. It's gone now. So if you're trying to look for that, it doesn't exist. Uh, but the big reason why these aren't selling for these prices is because you have Strictly Broken. Uh, back in the day, right, there was a place called JKTCG. I know there's some new people that have no idea what that is. JKTCG uh, was a store seller website. You'd still find it out here on the internet uh, that sold singles. And people would use that as a kind of a pricing guide. Um, JKTCG on their video, you can find it out on YouTube. Uh, they put prices up knowing full well people would undercut and that was part of the pricing model that they had. Um, and the same thing is happening here, right? So we have to go some other different direction. We got Strictly Broken now. As you can see with Strictly Broken, you have these prices come out and the my here, $299.99. Uh, let's see where she is. 270. This was like 300, 400 something earlier. We this is Nadoka at 80 bucks. You can see where the Nadoka is right here. 269. If I scroll down a little bit more, we got that Koga for 80 dollars. Uh, back here it is 89.99. You you get the the point here. You got Kaide here. $80. Strictly broken has it for $80. Where's Kaide? Kaide right here, $274. You had this My Sakurajima SEC. That thing was like 3000 
three thousand bucks at one point. Where is she? Uh, here she is. Eleven ninety nine ninety nine. So you, you get the whole idea, like uh, the whole point of JKTCG priced it, knowing people undercut. Now, Strictly Broken, whether they wanted to or not, is filling that same role. And when you take a look at uh, TCG player, these some of these cards are wildly above that actual price that's out there on Strictly Broken. So uh, don't buy from TCG player. If you were looking to buy, right here, you can see this. Uh, Shoko 400 SEC you have it here on 500 if you were looking to buy obviously there's other places you can you can buy it on eBay you can buy it on Facebook groups which have some of these lower the prices are all over the place because people don't know how to price it uh, the main point of my video what I did buy or invest for this dreaming girl set if you haven't watched it go out there to YouTube uh, do I have me up here yeah go out here to YouTube look me up and uh, what this set was all about right here, this buy or invest, this set was all about the serial numbers, right? This thing right here. It's all about the serial numbers. Outside of that, you're going to struggle to make any sort of profit. That's what I warned you about. Uh, you could see that with prior sets that actually have these different um, serial numbers, non-signatures in it. Uh, anybody that tells you that this, this set is special uh, because of these, uh, you know, these regulars, SPs, they don't know what they're really talking about. Yeah, it's the serial numbers. Um, because think about this, the drop rate inside of a case of this stuff. So if you buy a case of this, I think it's right. Uh, I closed it. If you buy a case of this stuff, let me just go out of here. Case area, $925. Uh, what you're going to find out is you're going to get either two SPs or you're going to get one SEC and one SP. So if we do the math on that, let me just say worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, you get two SPs and knowing that these prices are way overinflated, but let's just use them just for fun, just for fun, just for funsies. Uh, we have uh, 500 something dollars, right? 500, what is that? I don't know, it doesn't matter. So 500 something dollars. Then you look at the triple rares, SRs, and double rares. Uh, when you add that all up, are you getting $925 out of it? More than likely not. More than likely not. Um, if you pull this SEC, again, this is highly, uh, this, this is higher than what it should be. And probably not going to sell for that unless someone does like some massive buyout. Uh, again, there's no signatures on these. So I don't know why anybody would do that. You, you got to be, you got to have a lot of money. I was going to say insane, but maybe just having a lot of money is a good thing. Uh, but the only way you're, you're making this, you're making that 900 number is by hitting this, uh, you know, like a really good SEC, which would be this one in this case, because this Shoko plus, let's say this Mai over here is still not getting you to 900. Maybe if you do well on your SRs and your triple rares, okay, but really this one right here is the only one that's going to get your money back outside of the serial numbers. So when you deal with these serial number sets, you are definitely gambling that you pull that serial number to make it all back. If you don't, you have to hope for this one. And this was a one in four case kind of scenario. Right, because uh, one SP, one SEC, uh, that happens once in every two cases. There's two SECs. So on average, you got a one in four shot in cases uh, to get this one right here. Okay, So not so good. Um, so hopefully a lot of people weren't trying to open this and flip this stuff because that, that was a terrible idea. Uh, this is one of those ones that you keep and hold for the future. Um, hopefully the serial numbers aren't all pulled and all that, but you get... There it is. So uh, with triple rares, as you can see, not many have sold. Your highest one are these two, $14. But again, not sold. You could get it from different places uh, cheaper. And then we got your SRs. It's always interesting to watch what the difference between UUTE, um, like back in the day. Right? And I get it. Like, here we go. Uh, UUTE. Triple rares, SRs, and double rares versus what happens on the English side because some of these interesting, more interesting looking cards, right? And I get it, this is sold out, 
back in the day it was 400 yen but sold out so it's probably higher than that um how much these actually go for english because it, it seems like on the english side people value the more risque cards uh more than on what happened back in the day with the japanese side so uh we'll see where this lands and that's my point here you can see this my sakurajima in a swimsuit um this got bought well, there was only two uh for five dollars and now it's sitting here at 23 right like it was a it went from five to quite a price increase but as more of this stuff gets open obviously it's going to go down um Quickly, uh, before I forget, the reason I had this sealed picture up here again is not because this thing was 925, but because of this number right here, this 5797. Again, I'm not talking about any seller specifically. I do not want to get sued and I did not check any of these people. Uh, my point here is we know that the drop rate per case of this stuff is one. 2 SP or 1 SP and 1 SEC, which is a lot lower than what, no, I can't say a lot, but most sets have three things in it, right? Uh, you could say the whole two doesn't happen very often these days. But uh, the problem with this is, again, is just make sure to check out the sellers before you buy from them, because some of them, without me having to even look, I know have opened the stuff, got the the SP, I was going to say sign card, but there's no sign card. They open this up and they are reselling the dead boxes. So make sure to double check not only uh, TCG player, but eBay, Facebook and all that to see if they exist out there and make sure they're not selling it on a different site so that you don't know. Some of these sellers, and th this is where I say that disclaimer again, some of these sellers do not actually uh, open this stuff. They are only pricing it because other people are pricing it lower and they're trying to get rid of it. So uh, do I think all of this list here in the 50s are people that opened um, this stuff up and they're just dead boxes? No, I do not believe that. So again, I don't want to blanket, you know, just label like a group in a certain pricing level as doing that because you could easily say that about any seller. You could say that about uh, trusted sellers too. They can all do that. Um, anyways, so your triple rares, SRs, and here's your double rares. I highly expect this to fall. I really wish, these are some of the times where I really wish I could just ask this person. This person that bought four of these mys right here, these double rares, like why'd you buy four of these at $15? Like, I really wish I could see it. And I don't mean that in a jerk kind of way. I just kind of wondered, did they want to play with it? They're in a hurry to get this, uh, you know, make a deck and all that. I, I don't know. Don't know why you buy that for 15. These are definitely coming down. I mean, this is just uh, day one. And this is what it looks like already. Anyways, uh, moving. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to make this fast, but this stuff never goes fast. Uh, reprint of Bunny Girl Senpai. Uh, real quick, I haven't seen many people talk about it. I think people are getting it because I see it out on TCG Player. Or maybe that's just people pre-selling. Who knows? But they are out there. Again, Bunny Girl Senpai. This one has no serial numbers. Uh, the SECs have a little bit of an inking change, right? Like a different kind of blue. Um, whatever this color was, like a purple red going to this blue. Same idea above. Uh, down below with the SPs, no serial numbers. But they did change them to silver. So that's always fun. Yeah, I, I don't think it really matters in this case. I, I love this Rio. Just love this Rio. Um, out on TCG Player, what I meant by that, if you look here, it doesn't say reprint on. They really should have a breakout for reprint. Uh, when you look at this, this one, there's one at 65, which tells me uh, this definitely is the reprint. Uh, this one down here labeled it. Rascal does not dream of a dreaming. Rascal does not dream of Bunny Girl Senpai 2022. So that was nice. They put that little disclaimer out there that says, you know, by the way, this is the reprint. So more than likely, the 65 is the reprint as well. Um, so hopefully that person that bought it realizes that this is a reprint version. Um, out on TCG Player 2, they don't have the actual reprint ones out here. So uh, who knows how much this actually is. But you do have a Kaide, uh, the gold version signature. I'm assuming these are the signature ones that uh, these people put out here since they're two grand and 2,500. 
Um, but I, I can't imagine someone buying that at two two grand. Signature or no signature? That's kind of insane. Right. Um, next thing, uh, myself, myself. So again, thank you to you know TCG and Audrey for doing that conference with me. It's always a good time. Uh, if you didn't watch it, the pre-show uh, is out on there. It's the like the first hour. We talk about a bunch of different things, like our guesses, but more importantly, we talk about um, Dragon Maid pricing. Uh, we talk about Rebirth for You a little bit. We hit on um, signatures and all that stuff uh, disappeared. So check out that first hour after the conference. We are talking a real long time about what they talked about. We talked about uh, a bunch of Love Live and Review Starlight. So if, if you're a fan of that, uh, check that out. Um, but oh, I always t I talked about Chainsaw Man and Bleach at the beginning, all the new anime coming up. But more importantly, from that actual uh, conference we have here is uh, the Seven Deadly Sins Revival of the Commandments. So they went through a bunch of different things. We know this is coming out on December sixteenth, twenty twenty two. There is going to only be six signatures. Uh, we. When we talked, we were saying Merlin's not on here, which is a little sad. Uh, I would have loved to actually see Merlin on here. But I do love these sign cards. Pretty awesome. I like the framing. I like the usage of the actual card itself. Out, you know, like you, There's more of Meliodas on, on here because they're breaking through the actual frame, right? It's pretty nice. So I, I bet in hand with the foiling, with the different uh, rainbow signature here, I think that's going to be really cool. Uh, the Elizabeth, the card looks nice. I wish there was a different picture of Elizabeth, though, uh, going on here. But uh, Meliodas is my favorite between the two of them. Uh, I just, I do really love how we got this uh, framing and that, that art style for the SP there. All right, so uh, more to come on this, of course. Uh, next thing was Kaguya-sama Love is War. That comes out February 17th, 2023. Remember this set? No signatures at this point. This is another Aniplex anime, so we're not going to see signatures on it. Uh, main thing with that one. Uh, next one is Data Live 2 and 3. We already knew about this. Um, the big thing here is there's a tie into the 10th anniversary of Sword Art Online. This got announced during that English conference. This is coming out for the Japanese side on no in November, right? Coming out in November, but the thing here is Data Live 2 product page went up March 24, 2023. The bad, the, the interesting part, I was gonna say bad, but the interesting part is this highlight right here. Do you see this? Rina Hikata uh, Silica. If you're thinking about this, this is Data Live, and this is Data Live, and that's why I put the Sword Art Online here because they put under signatures this Silica, which could be an honest mistake or really they typed something in the wrong place so um to me there's no way this could have just happened like as a copy and paste um as like when i do powerpoints or if anybody does powerpoints right like when i do my buy or invest thing actually bring, bring it up what do i have up here i have a slide here so like this i'll when I make these uh, buy or invest, I'll copy and paste, and then I'll have all the pluses, and then I'll delete something out. And I was like, maybe that's what they did because they got these swords. And then I went and I tried to find these swords in other places. Let me actually try looking up sword art online. I looked on the Japanese side. They don't got no fancy bullets, but maybe, maybe sword art online had like these swords on it on one of these one of these older ones. Let me just try quick. I did not try this beforehand. This is just a thought I had, right? See, they don't have any swords here uh, as the bullet points. Maybe they just wanted to keep the swords and were kind of lazy, uh, but let's find out for sure. No. No, no swords. Jeez, how many freaking sword iron lines are there? So many. The swords. 
the swords. And you get my thing. It's like basically I'll copy and paste it so then I can have like the bullet, the, the swords there. But I don't think I'm going to find any swords. We got these little diamondy shapes. And then we got no signatures. So basically what that means to me is there is a chance. There is a chance that Sword Art Online 10th Anniversary is coming back with signatures. No one knows for sure, but that doesn't make sense that this would be a copy and paste because I can't find these swords anywhere on their website, right? Because you could just, my point is you could copy and paste, put it on another page, and then, you know, just write over it. And that's how this one could have stayed on there. But I don't know where these swords are to, to get it from, but maybe someone else can find it. Uh, that'll be interesting to see. I really wish uh, you would bring back the signatures a little bit sooner so that we can have it for... Kaguya, because I really hate these. Um, I hate the fact that signatures are missing from these. That'd be cool to get it back. Wouldn't that be neat? They're just like, hey, by the way, just kidding. Here are your signatures back. But um, I don't think that's happening anytime soon. So we'll see what happens on Sword Art Online 10th Anniversary. Uh, maybe that is the coming back. That was one of the things we talked about on, um, on a prior video, but also on that Bushy Road uh, conference. I honestly think signatures are coming back. I've said it a couple times now, just because I look at Build Divide, and Build Divide isn't anything amazing or special that I've seen so far. And with the amount of money that uh, Y Schwartz is making, if it was just comes down to an increased price on signatures, I feel like they could pay that. They should be able to make that investment. Um, so anybody that again the the safe play is to buy the Japanese version of Sword Art Online tenth anniversary. But if you really want to yeah to guarantee yourself signatures, if you can't afford to get both, um, and you're just banking on this coming through for you, this data live thing coming through for you, then there you go. But here's the Japanese version. Here's what they look like. Uh, there was more card art that was released here and. These are from prior sets. Some of these cards are from prior sets, so that's pretty cool. And the signatures uh, look really awesome. I'm, I'm excited for Sword Art Online. I can't wait to get it. Uh, I did buy the Japanese version because I'm one of those people that wanted to guarantee myself some signatures versus serial numbers that would happen if we don't get signatures back. Right? If you're cool with chasing serial numbers and having no signatures, uh, that possibility of that, then buy the English one. If you want to guarantee yourself at the signature so far, uh, then maybe pick up some Japanese ones. Uh, they showed pictures of Avatar here. Not going to talk too much about it because these aren't signatures. There's nothing special about them. Uh, right here, they told us about uh, Bang Dream Cheering Collection. Uh, these were pictures from the Bushy Road on the road. You can see that right there. So that's what I remembered. I'm like, it's kind of neat because I like how they across the board just use the same, like they keep them in the same actual order too. Kind of neat that way. <laughs> so you can just piece them all together and then you got your Bushy Road on the road logo um, right there. Speaking about Bushy Road on the road, we are through three of them. There is two left, one for Anime NYC, Anime Frontier. Uh, one of the things that is very important about it, we were talking about Hollow Live. Uh, prices on that Bushy Road conference uh, on the pre-show. <coughs> One of the things I mentioned is this booster box. Out on uh, TCG Player, I didn't actually have this up. Let me just drag this back over. So if you want to take a look, Hollow Live booster boxes are currently $87. Isn't that pretty crazy? Uh, if you take a look at the double rares, Marine was okay. There was only one Marine. She has 20 bucks. She is sold out now. Uh, someone bought it yesterday. So Marine disappeared at $20. It was $18. So that was there too. Um, but she's totally gone. So if I just click the sealed button here, you can see booster box cases $1,300. $87 on the booster box. Why this is important? Because Bushy Road on the road. They are selling them for $64. There you go. And then you have the premium booster too. And uh, also they got trial decks. And why I mentioned these is because when, um, the, be the best part about buying through them, you could see them, you could see the cases, you can make sure they're not uh, dead, mapped, whatever you want to call it. 
but you're getting a, a fair shot at an SP, SSP. You're getting a fair shot at it for a $64 entry. <laughs> That's what it is versus $87. Uh, even the trial decks, take a look at these, 23, 19, 22. So if you wanted a trial deck and you wanted a fair shot at pulling uh, SP inside of it, $17. There's probably taxes you have to pay or something there. I have no clue. Uh, but this seems like a really good deal if you're going to Bushy Road on the road. Again, next one is uh, NMA NYC. Saturday tickets are sold out. There's Friday and Sunday tickets left, and I think it was under 4,000 tickets left, so just be careful if you're going to go there. Okay, power-up sets, next thing uh, that they're bringing up. These were old sets. You can see down here what this is. Full play set of eight types of cards for 32 cards, with one of each being foil. Uh, you get a top loader, deck case, and storage box. There is no sleeves inside of there. There is no possibility of getting anything different. This is really just used to power up your set, which obviously I said, everybody that watched this that knows about Weish Wars um, for a while knows that you can't really get these sets. They're really all expensive. Um, they're gonna need to do some sort of reprint to make this even remotely viable. Uh, the bad part is if people didn't realize this, Kill a Kill is on this list. What is this list you may ask? This is an Aniplex website, which shows all the shows. Uh, if you remember correctly, because I was talking about it not uh, a few minutes ago, that basically Aniplex anime do not get signatures. So you take a look at all the beautiful different IPs that are on this list. Uh, notably, you'll have uh, Fate, Fate Grand Order. Uh, we didn't get signatures for Sword Art Online. We didn't get signatures for. You have Kaguya. We have Licorice Recoil. Uh, but the other one is Kill a Kill. Yes, Kill a Kill is on this list. Right? I shouldn't have zoomed in as much as I did. But there you go. <laughs> Kill a Kill is on this list. That means if this were to be reprinted and signatures do not come back, you are going to lose the signature on this Kill a Kill. And right here... Booster box, $700. You kidding me? Uh, well, there was that one at $500 that sold on ten six, But $700. Uh, we have Trial Deck, $144. Uh, signatures, you may ask. Three grand. Three grand, $170, $200, And uh, the nothing. The nothing bird. It's, it's totally there. Not there. Uh, Log Horizon, it's... A little bit better. You get a forty-dollar trial deck. Uh, booster box gone. Uh, SPs though, not too bad. So uh, kill a kill is definitely the big one at that list. We got Haruhi booster box one fifty-two ninety-eight. The Meister set, which I totally love. The Meister set so nice. Um, definitely one of those ones. If if you could get your hands on a Meister, any Meister set, right? There's there's a, a few out there. Uh, those were a nice experience to open. You get a play mat, you get a, like a freaking deck box, you get uh, booster booster packs. It's it's really a cool thing to actually have, and you get a promo card, uh, trial decks, all that. Uh, uh, out of all the ones that didn't need a reprint, I would say Haruhi would be the one. I love this SP, this usual Haruhi. And then we have this other one over there. So um, of the three, Haruhi is the less needed. Uh, the one that people probably would want the most, Kill a Kill, is on the Aniplex uh, No Signature Death list. And uh, Lock Horizon is just in the middle. I mean, you have SPs that are still be able to be picked up. So, I don't know. It's an interesting thought. That's why people, when they saw the... I was very happy for it because I like Haruhi, but I know some people that were just really confused by... The offering of power up sets. That was one of those ones I totally missed on the clues that were given out uh, for the actual uh, conference. Okay, um, Bang Dream. We knew this is coming fifth anniversary. Psychano. This made sense because it's coming out at the end of the month to make it playable. You need the second set. Fruits of Grisaya. I didn't think this was gonna come, but it came. So here it is. I'm excited for it. I, I like the anime. I forgot the names of the girls, but I really did love this anime. Um, so yeah, that, that's that. And obviously Quince movie coming soon. 
they put some effort in this in this coming soon. Look at that. They got they got the colors going on. It's really nice actually. Uh, but this one's coming soon. Uh, makes sense. And then here's the release schedule. We piled up on it. I was kind of confused when they were showing all this stuff about like um, with the hints and all that. I'm like, that's a lot of stuff to actually just uh, announce or at least preview, right? They didn't give us dates, uh, but that's a lot of stuff. We got Chainsaw Man in question mark, so that'd be pretty cool. Um, last, yeah, last thing, anyways, to deal with all this, Bushy Road website and on Twitter, they came up with this whole Amelia birthday pop-up store. This confused the heck out of me. People are, are like, please print this in Y. Schwarz because you're doing this pop-up store. I don't really get it. I mean, we just had an announcement thing and ReZero wasn't on there. Maybe they're just doing this out of nowhere. Maybe they're getting paid. I have no clue. Uh, but anyways, if you are a ReZero fan, uh, this October 21st through the 30th, there is going to be some um, ReZero product up for sale at Entertainment Hobby Shop Jungle. Yeah, so there's purchase, but you can see this. It's I'm not going to read it all here. I'm just going to show you stuff. Invent goods. There you go. Look at all the goods. We got some uh, hoodies. Everybody can use a hoodie. It's it's almost winter time, so get a hoodie, get a bucket hat. And, uh, yeah, when you... When I see all these things, right, like it, it confuses, it confuses because sometimes you see stuff on the Bushy Road Global Store, they're like, oh my God, maybe they're going to do something. But really, sometimes they just have product to sell, I guess. I don't know. But uh, here we are. Not sure. Not sure if they're going to sell this any anywhere else either. It's just weird, right? Like, I think I put this on the Bushy Road Global Store. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> sort of ending it that I don't know. Uh, last part here, TCG player. Normally I do a giveaway, and I fully intend to do a giveaway, but not this month. Um, I have money from this month. It's forty five bucks, uh, and I'm gonna roll that forward. What I'm going to do actually is, uh, let me give you the whole spiel. So uh, on this slide, you're gonna see my email, Twitter. If you ever need to get a hold of me, feel free to comment in the video. As always, uh, email me, feel free, Twitter, if you want, uh, use any of those. Um, but uh, with the TCG player link, it's always in my description of the video. Basically, you click it, you buy something from TCG player. If you need anything from TCG player, please use my link. What I do is I take that money and give it away back as giveaways. Um, since the holidays are coming up in December, what I want to do is I'm going to take the money from uh, the pat, the October, the November, and December giveaways. I'm gonna roll that all in the one, and I'm gonna do that giveaway all in December. The reason for that is I want to have like one big giveaway uh, for the end of the year, and not one big one. Basically, I want to have multiple um, giveaways that way. Because when I spin that wheel, you know, everybody that's been with me doing this the past couple of months, um, I give away like maybe some months it's one some months it's two some months it's three uh different tcg player gift cards and sometimes the same people win sometimes uh there's people that haven't won yet so i feel like in december with like a big bigger pile of money uh what i can do then is uh right before the holidays give you a gift card um you know at, not give you but like roll off for the for mo more gift cards that way more people win Instead of having like, you know, two people win in October and then in November, maybe the one of the two people win again. Uh, that way more people can actually win, right? You know, like instead of giving three uh, away this month or, you know, one or two next month, I can have like seven winners in December. I think that'd be nicer, especially before the holidays. That way you could buy yourself um, a card or a, a sealed something and then have that for Christmas. Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate, okay? Um, I think that'll just be nicer that way. So for the next few months, I'm not going to. So again, if you can, if you're buying from TCG Player, click the link. I'll do the giveaway in December. Um, again, I'll keep a tally of how much I'm getting. Um, I'm going to give that back. But that's the real idea about it, not to do uh, the next two months. But I want to I see more people uh, actually win. I think that would be cool. 
um, especially around the holiday times where maybe you could use that gift card, um, buy something for somebody else, you know, help you out in the holidays. I think that'd be cool. So that is what I'm doing. I'm skipping again October and November. But please, if you're going to use it, if you have a local store, buy from them. But if you're going to buy through TCG Player, use my link. Okay. Uh, that was everything. I'm going to, again, I'm sick. I'm trying to get back on my normal schedule, but I don't know what the deal is with the sickness. I'm just tired and coughing uh, a great deal. So um, I don't know. Maybe that means I have to go to the doctors. <laughs> I'm one of those people that avoid the doctor to the very end. Um, I do have a ton of videos I actually have to do. Uh, my wife gave me an ultimatum of one week because back there are magazines. I have a Bushy Road October magazine. I know you can't see it. But back there is, I have all my hollow live orange dusted uh, fingerprint trial deck sitting on the plates. She's still wondering when I'm going to do that. I still have my quintessential quintuplets back there. I have my dreaming girl booster box there, back there now. Uh, I don't know what else is back there. There's a lot of stuff. So <laughs> I just need to get doing it. But um, anyways, that's everything. So. Uh, hope you all have a wonderful weekend. As always, have fun. Be happy. Don't spend anything outside your budget. Be careful out there. Seriously, um, the economy, should have said this before, but the economy looking pretty rough. Stock market looking pretty rough. Again, if you got the money, you should be buying, um, you know, tit small, small, little, little pieces, right, of uh, collectibles or stocks and all that small pieces very very small because it's going to keep going down um, but at the very least you can get in when it's being semi-discounted right so um, that's very very important uh, if you have the long-term view if you're one of those people that are day trading uh, or flipping cards and all that stuff maybe that doesn't apply to you but um, for anybody else that wants the ease of investing in a you know, in, in a nice kind of uh, way where you just have a long-term focus, buying a piece is pretty good. I'm going to keep buying my uh, Wise Pokemon, Magic the Gathering. I'm going to keep buying that stuff. Not that one grand one thing, though, for Magic Gathering. That's insane. Uh, uh, I mean, maybe you could say it's not insane, but I just don't value it. as a per Like, I, I'd rather buy a bunch of Jumpstart booster boxes um, jumpstart the original booster box than buying that $1,000 thing. Uh, just not where I would want to be at this point. So uh, anyways, have fun. Take it easy. Uh, be careful out there. Have a lot of fun uh, with your family. Like one of the things that I learned being on vacation is I really wish I could um, find like a hourly job. It's insane. I mean, I have no more debt, but it was nice really just spending time and not having to think about work or even making these videos, um, just enjoying life. It, it's pretty amazing out there. It's a, it's a beautiful world out there. So make sure you uh, live your life. Cards are great and everything, um, but there, there is other things out there. Money, making money is great and all too. That gets you, that gets you all the fun tickets you need to actually do all the fun stuff. But uh, you gotta think about like, there's people out there that work uh, normal jobs, and I say I, I don't I don't disparage anybody about like making lower amounts of money, but they're living a very happy life with the little amounts of money or moderate amount of money that they make, and it's easy to forget that when you're looking at zero number cards or whatever. Uh, did you? Oh, did anybody see out there? If you're looking for a My Sakurajima, I think it's the DVD promo card. If you're looking for that, it's on the auction center right now. I forget when that ends, but it's pretty expensive. So if you're looking for that, I thought it was in like the 400s right now. It's it's, it's insane. But um, if you're looking for that, there is one up for auction on the Weish Wars auction group on Facebook. So um, anyways, I ran and I went on too long. <laughs> Have a good one. See ya.